Hello, good people. This is Karen with Ali Yoga. And today, by way of introducing um, people to yoga as health and fitness that you are able to do and that can be modified to you, I have my neighbor, Amy. She's here to tell you about her different stents, experiences with yoga connected to her health. So, Amy, you are really a wonderful neighbor, and I really Aww. appreciate you. Likewise. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Now, tell me about whatever you want. First, I want to know about your job, because sure. it's very important to know that your job can uh, be a factor in your health. Some of you know it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Some of you don't. So I'm a drug rep, and I basically cover most of Kentucky and most of Southern Indiana. In addition to drugs, I also sell medical foods, which are actually the vitamins that your body needs that it may not be getting either due to diet, genetics, or the effects that medications can have on your body. And a lot of times medications don't allow your body to metabolize and absorb certain vitamins, like right. B vitamins. Okay, well you've added products because I didn't know it was, um, you had the food product. Medical foods, mm-hmm. Okay, we'll have to talk about yes. that. I mean, I'm, you know, tell my doctor, maybe. You well, know, you know, and a lot of doctors, isn't it? Mm -hmm. they, yeah. don't, they don't teach that in medical school. I they know. teach drugs, right. you know. I know. So, I know. it's getting back to basics, which is nutrition and physical health, which, mm -hmm. you know, right. I'm not in my best health right now. Mm -hmm. um, we can always improve, especially right now. But mm -hmm. the best physical health that I've been in is when I did yoga. Um, I, can, I did yoga three three yoga classes a week, and then I did um, cardio, mm -hmm. and that was the best physical fitness and best mental fitness. Oh, yeah. I've, right. You know, like did going. You have, oh, you always have uh, such energy. So, did you notice that your energy had kicked up? Well, I noticed my energy kicked up, but I also noticed my ability to concentrate and decompress because yoga made me compartmentalize and shut down when I went into it. Mm -hmm. That, you know, I had to focus on myself and getting in the right position and, and making sure to right, do it correctly because right, exactly. it's not how deep you go, right. uh -huh. but doing it correctly. The alignment it's, and you can feel it because it sort of clicks in mm -hmm. for you. You just feel the difference. Absolutely. So with you being a drug rep, then that means that you drive a bit. Mm -hmm. Anywhere from an hour to a day to three to four hours. Well, yeah, three to four hours a day. Right. So... And it's in and out of that vehicle and slamming that door. And carrying my bag and just sitting, you know, even right. if, it, if it wasn't driving, just right. if I had an office position mm -hmm. where I was still sitting mm -hmm. that long. Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, that is detrimental if you have mm -hmm. bad posture. Right. You know, I remember when I used to work in an office, I sat on a big yoga ball because it made me have really good posture. Right. And then I could do exercises. Right. I miss exactly. that. <laughs> So, uh, also with driving and office work, uh, those fingers, they come into uh, play because we use them a lot. We're mm -hmm. holding on to the steering wheel or we're keyboarding. You get to do both mm -hmm. <laughs> as you turn in your reports and all. And uh, we really make short fingers and arthritis can be uh, held off if you do your yoga exercises. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, alone. Um, so we'll make sure we do that. How uh, are your fingers? Because did you have a nasty spill that included your... Well, I had that hand surgery. And then, yeah, back in February, I had a spill where I broke two ribs on the ice and then uh, two vertebrae. So, hailing slowly but surely. Looking forward to the summer for pool yoga because that's yes, my favorite. Yes, pool yoga. That's another thing. You can do yoga in the pool and... That is a class that I offer, and I'm ready for it. Me too. I'm ready for and it. And it really helps because, you know, you're weightless in the pool. Mm -hmm. So if you do have stability issues, you know, you can just grab onto the side of the pool and feel comfortable. Right, so. right. And at the same time, you're in a resistance-type field. Exactly. That, um, you don't even know that you're pushing that weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you don't have the impact. Right, you know? exactly. So. Exactly. I look forward to doing some more yoga. Yes, exactly. So does my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and start with our three breath practice so that we okay. can center ourselves in on what we're doing and just shut the world out. It's so
so much going on and hand on your heart is your storage of your total emotions and then the hand on your belly is where your courage resides and together you're welcome to close your eyes together we will breathe in deeply and exhale deeply pull in your navel this deeply get rid of the carbon monoxide that builds up in your body breathe in like the doctor would ask you and then breathe out and then the third time without my wording breathe in and out good go ahead and relax your hands on your thighs palms up or down you can open your eyes but uh, breathe a few more times of course you're going to breathe we want your breathing to be uh, conscious and therapeutic as you connect your mind with your body and breath so go ahead and breathe in and out and feel the relaxation around your neck maybe around your shoulders just let them just let the weight happen with along with gravity use gravity to let your shoulders relax and I do like to tailor my poses and classes to the individuals when we're this is sort of like a private okay <laughs> so uh, since you are doing the driving and such and how's your neck there are you still under doctor's care or? no I'm released okay. from doctor's care but yeah okay. I definitely have a lot of tension okay in my shoulders. well let's um, focus on our neck by you okay with that oh yeah and I was gonna tell you I do have a little hand issue so if I could try not to put as much weight on this yes hand. okay yeah I'll make sure we don't do awesome. that okay I know we you're gonna modify that. it making mm -hmm. modifications yes girl you've been in enough class <laughs> of mine let's see how your fingers are with as flicking off water flick flick how's that kind of kind of sort of uh, and the thing is it will make it so is it pain or discomfort but we won't stay here. I just want you to know that this is something that you can do. Okay. okay? And it will build up the muscles in your forearm and as well as in your fingers. And I'm really okay. thinking right now if I could need a time to like decompress, uh -huh. I take all my anger or uh -huh. whatever frustration, I just flick it. Flick it. Oh, nice. Nice. Make <laughs> that connection. Make that connection. Okay. So now go ahead. We'll stay with the hands and. I don't want to push you too hard. You're gonna, you're gonna stop me, okay? So we're fingertips together. Let me sit them up like this. Fingertips together, thumbs also. Press into your fingertips. How is that for you? All right. All right. Now keep that pressure, but go down the finger to each joint, and I mean all your fingers. Mm -hmm. Maybe not your thumb because you know it opposes whatever it is we do. And then you're at the top joint where the fingers and the hand meet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the palm is not to touch as you press from the top of the hand to the top of the fingers into each other. How's that feel for you? All right. Okay, so now stay in that connection, but do touch the heel of your hand. So it's like you have a ball, in, but keep your fingers together if possible. Okay. Again, it's your following what your body says is okay. Yeah. And did it say this. stop? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ow, mama. <laughs> That's a <enough>. Listen. <laughs> right. Right. So. Uh, flick it off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do that. And I'll go ahead and uh, continue. Like my palm is not touching, but the heel of my hand is. And I'm pressing the fingers together. So now you want to jump right in and we're going lace our fingers. And bring your elbows and heels of the hand together and just monitor how much pressure you're adding, okay? It's about you. So, you know, healing is in the blood, but we got to get that healing, that blood moving mm -hmm. so that healing can, the body's always healing itself. itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we help it as we exactly. connect. Um, so, part of the healing being in the blood is we want it to rush sometimes. Mm -hmm. So as we close it off, we're kind of like damming it off or slowing it down as we really compress our fingers. And then as you exhale and release the pressure, now that blood flow has increased quickly compared to what it was. And 
and scar tissue or in the body has debris mm -hmm. in it, well, then the blood is part of its healing is to wash that away, That's okay, great. as well as carrying nutrients and oxygen and, and the other things and debris away from areas. Do you need a job? <laughs> I think he could do mine. <laughs> oh, no, you were doing pretty good, too, when you were explaining. Now, go ahead and see about turning your fingers forward. And without causing a lot of pain, because we already know that. It actually feels really good. Because mm -hmm. that's what I do. <laughs> okay, so just come out of that and shake it off. Shake it off. So, you know, this is Ali Yoga Studios, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So, we're going to do some Ali Yoga Shuffle yes. when we, once we get in our chair. We're not going to shuffle our way back to our chair, but okay. So, let's go ahead and make our way back to our chair. You're right there. I'm right here. And I don't know if you know the Ali Shuffle. I'm going to scoot over a little bit and then I'm going to scoot back in a second. But what we're going to do first is sit near the edge of our chair so that we feel the bottom of our, our butt bones in the chair, okay, on the edge. And we're going to do the alley shuffle, okay? We're going to hold on to your chair and pat your feet. Like what a ride. Now you can move your feet forward, one forward, one back. Okay. We didn't come to start trouble. What are we trying to do? The shuffle. The eye shuffle. shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> you might be in trouble. <laughs> it ain't the Super Bowl shuffle. It's not the Super Bowl shuffle. It's not the icky shuffle. It's the uh, All right. I think she's got it. Okay. And then as you stop real fast, do you feel the circulation? Do you feel I your do. nerve? Your all um, this is moving around and, and it is up to our conscious attention because we know it's always happening, right? So now you can feel it. And where we'll go from here is I'm, I'm thinking about what Amy has is uh, experiencing. So your ribs are an issue. Let's help them breathe a little bit. How long has it been? I fell in February 11th. And you're right. And you're finished with your doctor. And there's no physical therapy for ribs, is it? Mm -hmm. Just sit around and be in pain and try not to breathe too deeply. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to breathe deeply now. <laughs> okay, again, hold mm -hmm. on to your chair. And as we inhale, we're bringing our shoulder blades into the spine and moving our chest forward with the breath like we normally do. It's just bigger. How are you, Amy? I'm every breath. Okay, and then go ahead and exhale and round your shoulders so across the collarbone and chest and pull your belly in. Chin down. Chin down, Amy. Good. Now we're going back the other way. Big inhale. Closing our shoulder blades as if we're closing the ends of a book and we're opening the pages out in front, fanning them out in front. And you can take your head up, your chin up, and then come back center. Okay, now we're connecting our body movements with our breath. You can free your hands up the hold and inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, and now we're going to hug ourselves. So bring our arms over to each shoulder. And again, we're going to exhale and bend forward, pull your elbows and your chin to your chest and breathe through the backs of your lungs. Feel them expand instead of the front. Okay? And then inhale and let's go the other way. Elbows and chin up. back to center and now we're going to slide our hands to our rib cage on the side of us fingers are like pointing to each other and then as we inhale big push your air out to the sides into your hands feel them how does how do your ribs feel do they are they complaining at all yep, they're good. okay good and then you exhale and then go ahead and inhale again feeling that 
breath, move the body there at your fingers. Good job. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to stand up and see what we can do beside the chair. You keep your chair there. I'm going to move mine back to where it was, and then we'll get in position just like we we heard. We rehearsed. Because <laughs> you did it perfectly. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what we will do is go into a squat, and Amy's wrist and fingers are challenging to her right now, so we will modify our plank poses that we normally do so that she can still get a good workout. You don't have to stop working out because something hurts. <laughs> um, anyway, our feet are separated. You have your hands with your spacing, and now come up on your toes. Good. Keep your heels up. Stay on your toes as you bend your knee and you're going to hold on to the chair. Seat. The seat of the chair. Good. Now, turn your knees out away from you to the side and you might pivot on your toes a little bit. Is that happen? Good. Now, giant step with your arms, your hands to hold on to the other side of the chair. Seat. And lower your forehead toward the chair. Keep moving the knees out. And you get a nice groin lengthener there. Ooh, feel it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and see what you're driving. Again, you uh, these are areas that definitely become uh, compromised. So go ahead and bring yourself back up. Bring your knees together and uh, forearms on the chair. So she's not having to use her hands like bearing weight. And now knee to the ground one at a time and interlace your fingers. Shift your weight to the chair. You're up on your toes into plank. Lift your knees. Good job. Good job. Look to the wall in front of you. And now lower your pelvis and look way up to the ceiling. And you want your chin and neck to be free. Let me see. How do you feel? Because you have what you have going on. Are you not able to put your hands in the triangle? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Did you say triangle? Well, you know we rehearsed it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, interlace your fingers like we did earlier. Because now you can push down through your hands and down through the elbows to help stabilize you. Okay? Good. How do you feel up around your neck? Like it's time to come up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, go back down. <laughs> if you feel like you're ready to come up, it's time to go back down. <laughs> and you're on, uh, on your knees there and sit your hips to your heel and walk your hands way over. And now that takes the weight off of your shoulders, lengthens the muscles in your back, you Walk your fingers forward and get those muscles lifting still in your back, up along the side, and you're down. Okay, so now go ahead and slide your hands over to the edge of the chair closest to you. Walk your knees up, and let's do camel instead of more planks. Okay, let me try. And uh, take your one arm up, you choose, and then follow your fingers, hold on to your heel or whatever you can touch, and then take the other hand up and over, and it'll feel a little bit different, but now again, we're opening our chest, so pull your shoulder blades together, push your chest forward, bring your chin up. How'd you do? Mm, not very good. Okay, good. I can't hold it. Oh, well, you know what? You can hold on to your pants leg. Find your pants leg. Yeah. Wrap your fingers around it. Give it some tension. Yeah. Good. Good. And then come out of it. Was that the reason you couldn't hold it or was it heavy in your chest? No, I need to stretch more. That's why I'm glad you're here. Sit back. Me too. <laughs> I need to be so here. You, too. you look great. Right There's no ahead. place I need to be other than here. Yeah. Right now. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and stay on the floor of getting back in the chair okay. okay being on the floor is really helpful for you because just like driving 
simply sitting for continuous, you know, that's our lifestyle in the West, actually. But if we uh, sit on the floor, that will really help our muscles. So you stay where you are, except for turn around. Okay, and I'm going to move my chest. You want me to move this chair? Mm -mm. Just want you to sit exactly like you are. And here we are. So what we'll do is the three breath practice again. Hand on our heart, hand on our belly. And together we'll breathe in. And we're feeling our blood to flow through our body, healing our body. And then exhale. And it's moving through our body again. In and out. Up and down, circulating all around. <laughs> and now what we'll do is notice the feeling that travels through us. Continue breathing. And we'll understand that it's traveling through us. The energy is reaching its way up to God. And then God is answering that prayer with the answer yes. Now, we just can't absorb everything that we uh, that God gives us all at once. So we absorb what it is that we can. So together, let's breathe in. Feel the vibration. Just travel up your body. Maybe it's in your nostrils, in your third eye, the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, now you're pulling the answer to your prayer into your body. It's traveling through your body all the way down to your toes and even out to the world because now you are full of the answer to your prayer. Go ahead and breathe in again and just feel the traveling of the blood. Then exhale, feel it, return to your body, you are refreshed and renewed as you exhale. Well, let's do it again and to really make sure that you feel this, think of your favorite fragrance, if you like the way baby smells sweet and fresh, the sweet and fresh part incense go ahead and breathe in give yourself a little smile feel your eyes shine with joy and exhale let's go again and let your face really feel soft and relaxed with your smile your inner joy has been tapped in you're connected to God and exhale. Let's go ahead and put our hands on our knees, whether they're cupping our knees or your palms are up. It's fine. When your palms are up, you can really feel the energy exchange between you and the universe. They're in the palms of your hands. As you breathe, and it should feel really strong and prominent, fascinating. Please be fascinated with your body. It's amazing. It's a wonderful design that, in my opinion, man copies over and over in different ways. I'll tell you about that one day. <laughs> But for now, I will say that the divine in me recognizes and respects the divine in you and your place in the universe. Come in prayer position to say namaste and amen. All right. Thank you, Amy, for Thank being my guest today. Yes, I look forward to the next time you need another guest. <laughs> okay.